guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Banks Ray Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. In the last episode, we cross examined a girl who looks suspiciously a lot like Dahlia Hawthorne, because maybe she is Dahlia Hawthorne, but she calls herself Melissa Foster and she witnessed the crime of Terry Falls killing Valerie Hawthorne. So, yeah. Um, we, <laughs> we kind of called her out on all her lies and now she's just like chilling in the lobby trying to calm herself down. Calm herself down in air quotes because she's probably like totally fine actually. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we're just going to go ahead and see where the rest of the trial takes us. So let's get going. February 16th, 1.14 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Mr. Falls, I- Uga! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I want to say thanks! You're real good! You really hooked me up! Thanks! We're almost there! Once I prove that she committed the crime... Yeah, but there's one big obstacle we gotta get past. Uh, obstacle? Yeah. Motive. Why would Melissa Foster kill that policewoman anyway? Motive, huh? Anyway, we're still badly in need of information. Information, right. What we need the most is info about Melissa Foster herself. We know that she's a student studying literature. And one more thing. What is it? Well, the incident that happened five years ago, of course. The kidnapping murder case that Zebra Boy is on death row for. I didn't do nothing! I didn't kill nobody! I never lie! Mr. Falls, in that case... Tell us more about it. About what happened five years ago. Okay, I trust you. That day, five years ago, I dream of it every day. This picture, it reminds me everything. Bridge looks same, just like then, five years ago. Like it could fall apart, fall apart any minute. So it's been broken like that for at least five years. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you sound like the one that could fall apart- But you sound like the one that could fall apart at any minute. It true. I did. I did kidnap her. Five years ago. I kidnapped my girlfriend. Dahlia Hawthorne. Your girlfriend? Huh? Hey, hold on there. Did you say Hawthorne? The victim's last name. Dahlia Hawthorne. Valerie's little sister. What? Are you serious? The girl. Let her go. Oh, wrong voice. I think that might be Valerie. Shut up. C come closer. A and I kill her. Sorry. But you're not going to get the chance. The detective back then was Valerie Hawthorne. At first I thought shooting someone for a kidnapping was crossing the line, but if it was to protect her little sister, I can understand why she did it. Wrong! No protect sister! Valerie betray me! Betray us! What do you mean she betrayed you? Everything. All lies. All make-believe. Kidnapping, too. A make-believe kidnapping? Dahlia, my girlfriend, my love, my teenage- how- how old is- hold on. And then how old is- <laughs> So this occurred five years ago. She was 14, and you were 20. Do committed a crime anyway, so, um... Ugh, did he actually say my teen angel? He's seen one too many soap operas. Soap operas. I do anything she says. Anything Dahlia says. Anything Dahlia says? Hold on a minute. What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by... Yeah, me and Dahlia. And Valerie, too. Valerie was in on it? Dahlia's family rich. Jewelry business. We get one jewel, that's what we thought. Me and Dahlia wrote kidnap note, we send to her dad. Ask for two million dollar diamond, tell him make exchange on Dusky Bridge. 
We tell him Valerie make transfer because she knew protect detective. Having a police detective in your pocket is a useful thing, all right. In the end, you were planning on splitting the two million three ways, huh? Yeah, but that woman! That woman! Valerie! She do it for real! She shoot at me for real! Me and Dahlia! I was shot in the arm. Dahlia! She jump in river! Jump? You don't mean she jumped on purpose, do you? I couldn't do it. I could never push her. Anyway, I blackened out. Wake up with police all over. And that's when they decided to give you the death sentence. I couldn't believe it. That woman, she betrayed me! That man, Terry Falls, he killed her. He threw her off the bridge. He threw my beloved sister into the Roaring River 40 feet below. These five years, all I wonder is, why, 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 why? Why did she lie? That's all I want to know. So that's why you called her. You wanted her to you wanted to hear the truth from Valerie herself. Yes, but I forget what she looked like, so I tell her to wear a scarf. I don't want to hurt her. Just ask why? Why? Why did you lie? Why did you betray me? I just want to hear answer come from her mouth, that's all. So that's why. That's why you made a crazy escape like that. Just one thing, Zebra Boy. My senses are tingling all over. Tell me, Mr. Falls, where is it? Huh? Where's what? Come on now, kitten. The ransom. The two million dollar diamond. Remember that now? Did you give it back to Pops? Did the police take it? I don't know. Huh? You don't know? No, really. I don't know. It's gone. With Dahlia. With Dahlia? That day, on the bridge, Dahlia put it in backpack. Now gone with Dahlia, gone forever, into Eagle River. It disappeared with Dahlia, huh? Wait a minute. Mr. Falls, just one more question. When you said with Dahlia, do you mean the diamond is still missing? Along with the body of Dahlia Hawthorne? Never found her, my sweet Dahlia. They never found her. Swallowed by river, gone. Dahlia, my teen angel. Your teen angel? How old was she anyway? Fourteen. Just fourteen. Fourteen? I guess you were robbing cradles before diamonds. She plans a fake kidnapping and disappears into the river with a, t with a rock worth two mil. Man, oh man. Angels these days. Falls takes the fall and gets a one-way ticket to death row. Is Dahlia Hawthorne an angel, or is she really a... It's time, kitten. It looks like we have a few more aces up our sleeve now. You bet! The training wheels come off now, Mia. You've got to strike while the iron is hot. That's one of my rules. Remember it. February 16th, 1.49pm, District Court, courtroom number 4. Now then, let's continue with the trial of Mr. Terry Falls. Witness, are you feeling a bit better? Y yes Your Honor. I I'll try my best. Mmm, you're a brave young lady. Not this again. I can understand a defense lawyer wanting to get her client off the hook. However, to try to pin the crime on an innocent student is... What are you talking about? My witness is not the person on trial here. She's an innocent bystander who witnessed a violent crime, that's all. What possible reason would a girl like this have for murdering a policewoman? Mmm, it's certainly hard to imagine this woman as a murderer. Her motive, huh? I figured that's what I had to establish next. Well, Miss Faye, do you have any evidence of a motive? Uh, yes, of course. I think. Ha! Huh. You're still acting as tame as a kitten, kitten. Mr. Armando... Listen, a lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Smiling on the outside while your guts are twisted in knots is the mark of a pro. 
Maybe so, but I wish you would quit grinning at me like that. Um, excuse me, may I speak, Mr. Judge? Of course! Any Mr. Judge is any time you like. Is ready any time you like. I'd like, I'd like to say something. Some people here are suspicious of me, right? But that's why... I... I at least wanted you, Mr. Judge, to know that it's not true. Hmm, I see. You're such an honest and upstanding young lady. Looks like this witness is a real professional. What do you mean? Look at that 100-watt smile. Just when things are darkest for her. Click. She lights right up. Very well, then. Let's hear what the witness has to say. I... I was out of the country until the year before last. Until I entered college, I had never even been to Eagle Mountain before, and I certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer, holding a grudge and killing the officer who testified against you five years ago, or kidnapping a poor girl. I just think that the defendant is a terrible, horrible monster! Hmm, out of the country, eh? Precisely. Furthermore, she has no possible motive for committing murder. Hmm, indeed. You're up to bat, kitten. Sharpen those claws and put on your best smile. Y you bet. Somehow I had to tie her to this case. Okay. I was out of the country until the year before last. So, what country were you living in then? We were all living abroad, but after my parents were killed... It was a brutal civil war. She had to try to make her way back home all alone. I lost everything. I didn't even have any personal identification. What kind of sob story is this? What should I do? Should I press her for more details? Witness, answer my question. I'll even repeat it for you. What country were you in? Your Honor, this line of questioning is childish. What country she was in and how many languages she may speak are irrelevant here. What we're here to evaluate is whether this witness has any connection to this case. I have lived abroad ever since I was a little girl. That's why I could never have known Mr. Falls or Detective Hawthorne. Yes, I think we've established that point. Yes, indeed. Well then, shall we add what you've just stated to the official testimony? Yes, please, Mr. Judge. Naturally, I didn't know either the victim or the defendant. Well, we know sh I know she's Dahlia Hawthorne. But are, am I am I jumping the gun? I don't know, bro. Am I jumping the gun? I am jumping the gun. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't know either person? Are you certain of that? Yes, I'm afraid I'm rather shy around people. Mmm. Oh well, that can't be helped. Why is he just agreeing with everything that comes out of her mouth? The first time you saw either of them was when they were on the bridge, correct? Yes, it really was a coincidence. Until I entered college, I had never even been to Eagle Mountain before. Is this a lie? I'm trying to find something to catch her on. But I don't know what to do about that. Ah. So what made you decide to go to Eagle Mountain anyway? I just love being outdoors. Picnics, hiking, you know, that sort of thing. You don't look like much of a hiker to me, but you do look like a digger of sorts. But Eagle Mountain is a two-hour drive from here and no trains run through there. There are plenty of mountains that are closer and easier to get to. Well, I went there once with the college hiking club. I fell in love with its stark, desolate beauty and its cold yet romantic gloominess. Didn't know you were such a goth. By the way, what's the name of your college? <laughs> The prosecution objects to any questions that involve the witness's private lice. life. Lice? All that matters is that she is a material witness to the crime. The witness doesn't need to respond to questions that are clearly malicious intent. Thank you! She's really gone too far. Hmm. Miss Faye, hopefully you're treading on thin ice here. I hardly said anything. Talk about sensitive. 
Yes. Certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer. I feel like all of these, like, statements could be just completely blown out of the water by her- by just saying that she's freaking Dahlia Hawthorne because she is! Well, that's... Unfortunately, Miss Fay, your last statement proves nothing. Oh, really? And why is that? The witness came to the police station once to, once to identify the suspect. It's entirely possible that at that time an officer showed her this photo. Mmm, that seems like a rather serious mistake. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the prosecutor's book. That's not fair! That wicked inmate. I'll never be able to forget that horrible day. A grudge? Well, the policewoman's testimony was crucial, wasn't it? Crucial in getting the defendant sentenced to death. Yes, and that's precisely why he harbored such deep anger against her. So much anger that he forgot his own guilt. My client has always maintained that he's innocent of those charges. He seems rather forgetful, your client, I mean. Not only did he forget about what he did, but he forgot about the poli policewoman as well. What do you mean by that? Your client, he forgot what the detective looked like, right? It's too bad for her that he didn't forget about her testimony as well. Well, she's right about that. Mr. Falls is kind of forgetful. You said he forgot what the detective looked like. What do you mean by that? Well, he couldn't tell who she was without some kind of identification, right? Quite right. That's why the, the victim was wearing a scarf as identification. Why, if I had been wearing a white scarf that day, then he probably would have tried to kill me. Mmm, that's true. He's clearly a bitter man. This is bad. Mr. Falls' reputation just keeps getting worse and worse. Sometimes it's best not to poke too deep. What should I do with that last statement? Your Honor, what the witness said just now was tremendously important. I'd like it added to the official testimony. The prosecution has no objection. After all, the defendant is a killer and a mentally unbalanced one at that. That testimony only helps to further prove that point. Mmm. No, that's not why I... Enough. Witness, if you would. My pleasure, Mr. Judge. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't wearing a white scarf. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't wearing a white scarf. What do you mean by lucky? Well, it's February now. Everyone is wearing scarves. If I had accidentally worn a white scarf like he said... Then you yourself might have been killed. Mmm, that would have been a terrible loss for this world! Ha! <laughs> Looks like you pressed too hard this time, kitten. Mr. Armando, keep looking around you and you're gonna lose sight of the finish line. Justice is blind, but she's not deaf. Sometimes you have to know when not to talk. Let's go. It's true Mr. Falls did give instructions to Valerie Hawthorne about their meeting. The note that she left said, Wear a white scarf for identification. Yes, what about it? Isn't it obvious? Doesn't it strike you as odd? That note was a secret piece of evidence. How is it that the witness knows about it? Uh. But we've mentioned it so many times in the trial, actually. Order, order! Mm, it is odd, isn't it? Well, Mr. Edgeworth... Did you show top-secret evidence to the witness? Y your Honor, I certainly never gave anyone permission to do such a thing. In that case, the only way the witness could know about the note would be- Just a moment! Of course, of course I didn't know about the note. It's just, I saw it when it happened, with my own eyes. When the victim went to see the killer, she used her own scarf to signal him. That's why, that's why I assumed that the signal was a white scarf. Mmm, I suppose that makes sense. Come on, Mia, you can't let her weasel out of it that easily. Witness, sorry, but your explanation isn't going to work here. But why? It's true, that's what I saw! Impossible. There's no way you could have seen the victim use a white scarf to signal him. 
I don't I don't know. You've said several times in your testimony that the victim was wearing a scarf. A white scarf, correct? Yes. Is something wrong? Hmm. <laughs> That's what I'd like to know, Miss Foster. Have a look at this. It's the victim's scarf. <laughs> I'm sure people would disagree about what to call this color. However, it certainly is not white. You knew what the note said. She knew the contents of the note? No! It says, wear white scarf for identification. That's the reason why you said it was white. <laughs> well, Miss Foster? No! Order, order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, I'm waiting for an explanation. I'm... I'm quite sure this note wasn't leaked to the public. And yet... This witness knew exactly what the note said. At the time of the murder, the number of people that knew were quite limited. Terry Falls is one, and the person who wrote the note, Valerie Hawthorne, is another. And finally, one more person. Did you say one more person? That's right, a person that no one would have suspected. Have you figured it out, kitten? Yep. The third person that knew the contents of the note was... And that person is... Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne? I never heard that name before. Look at the victim's note. This is what it says. Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time. There is an... There is her name right there. Well, what's this? So, who is this person? This Dahlia Hawthorne? Oh. <sighs> Miss Faye must be desperate if she's trying to bring the dead back to life. The d d dead Dahlia Hawthorne was the victim's deceased younger sister. She was killed in a crime five years ago. Killed in a crime? You don't mean... Yes, she was kidnapped and killed by Terry Falls. Hm. You said she was killed, but was she really? What are you implying? Of course, people thought she had died five years ago when she fell off Dusky Bridge and was lost in the Eagle River. However, her corpse was never found. She was declared legally dead five years ago. As far as the law is concerned, Dahlia Hawthorne is officially dead. But the fact remains that her body was never recovered. Dahlia Hawthorne was 14 years old five years ago. If she were still alive, she would be 19 now. Melissa Foster. I believe that's the same age you are. Even you couldn't. Miss Faye, you're not saying... Hm. But I am. That's precisely what I'm saying. This witness before us is the girl that was kidnapped and killed five years ago. This girl is in fact Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. What? 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 Ha. <laughs> nice work. That was like tossing a grenade into a three-alarm fire. But unless you can tie all the loose ends together, you're nothing but a hit-and-run arsonist. I- I understand. If I can expose her true nature, I can turn this whole case on its head. Now's my chance to make Mr. Edgeworth squirm. Mm -hmm. Witness, just who are you anyway? I- I- um... I didn't think it'd come to this. That's enough. You don't have to say any more, witness. Yes, I understand. What? Mr. Edgeworth, explain yourself! Your Honor, I have an admission to make. I honestly never thought the defense would pursue the matter this far. You don't- you don't mean- Yes, the prosecutor's office isn't filled with fools, you know. Naturally, we conduct full background checks on all of our witnesses. What did he say? Ha! <laughs> Looks like the kid knew. He knew her true identity from the get-go. No way! But then why? If you hadn't revealed her secret, he wasn't going to say anything about it. All he wanted was her testimony, so he made a little trade. Let me introduce you to... 
the victim's younger sister, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. But, but, I thought she died five years ago. We all thought so as well, but, well, as you can see. Why? Why did she hide her identity for five years? That has nothing to do with the current case. She was merely an accidental witness to a crime. Accidental? I don't believe that for a minute. For the last five years, she's been playing the role of the victim. And now we find her acting suspiciously at another murder scene. Really, Miss Faye, your strategy is clearly obvious. You're trying to pin your client's crime on an innocent witness in order to win. At any cost. H how dare you! Please, let us take a moment to think. Five years ago, this girl was kidnapped and nearly killed. Mmm! But even worse than that, five years later, Dahlia Hawthorne lost something much more precious, her big sister. Miss Fay must be insane to even suggest that he- that she murdered her. What?! I'm inclined to agree with the prosecutor's logic. Miss Fay, do you have any evidence to back up your assertion? What possible reason would this witness have for killing her beloved sister? W well, you see, I thought I was winning, but somehow he's turned it around on me. Ha! <laughs> I think you need a little push in the right direction, kitten. The defense is prepared to present evidence supporting our claim. Fuck you, man. Uh, that wasn't me! It was this guy! This crazy coffee addict! Oh no. I think we've heard enough empty threats from you, old man. Ha! <laughs> what makes you think they're empty, boy? Because your protege looks like she's sweating bullets. Uh, I am sweating bullets! You think you're in a tough spot, huh? Of course! Aren't I? No. You've just arrived at the moment of truth, that's all. Whether you win or lose, that's up to you. Up to me? Oh, the rashness of youth. How charming. This coming from someone younger than me. Now then, let's not waste any more time. Ms. Fay. what motive would this witness have for murdering her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne? I don't know, Diamond? The story starts after Terry Falls escaped. He called Valerie and told her he wanted to meet. This is the note she left. It says, Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time. The whole truth must come out. Valerie Hawthorne gave Dahlia a warning. She told her she was going to reveal to the world the whole truth. The whole truth? There was a dangerously important secret between Valerie and Dahlia. That's the reason Dahlia felt she had to kill Valerie. To keep her mouth shut permanently. A terrific story, Miss Fay. If you like fiction, that is. Enlighten the court, Miss Fay. What was this secret that was so important? Where's your evidence? Dahlia and Valerie Hawthorne and Terry Falls. There is only one important secret that connects them all. Oh yes, I know the secret. Your Honor, the defense would like to request further testimony. What testimony? Regarding the kidnapping five years ago, we believe it will explain a lot of things, such as the nature of the important secret between the, between the Hawthorne sisters. Ugh. Very well. I'll grant your request for further testimony. I know it will be painful for you, but can you enlighten us once more, my little maple leaf? Y yes I'll try, Mr. Judge. Putting on the old charm one more time, Dahlia? But this will be the last time you hide behind your womanly wilds. All right, I think this is where we're going to stop for today. Roll the end card. Objection! You haven't hit like and subscribe yet. Hold it! You forgot to ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. Take that! Click here to watch more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!